Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's least hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed. Cuh. You can't win. Even, you see, in 1609, William Shakespeare was having a right old go at the weather, and he probably didn't have a kind word to say about meteorologists either. Things don't change much, do they? Now, I might be a lousy actor, but as a weather forecaster, I am, 400 years on, privy to a lot more weather data than Will. So I know, for instance, that Stratford-upon-Avon, being in the rain shadow of the Welsh mountains, the Pennines and the local hills around, actually, on average, has a fairly low rainfall record. And it being in the centre of the country, as far away as you can get from the cooling sea breezes, the summertime temperatures here are statistically warmer than any of the uh, seaside resorts around the coast of the UK. So you can't grumble. Not that William Shakespeare was complaining about the weather, really. I think he found its complexities as lovely and as interesting as a lover's changeable moods. And I think that's the great thing about a changeable climate. It means, for instance, that Stratford's sunshine, the eye of heaven, is never really too far away. Now, you can have a look on the website and click on the latest local forecast, but do you know what? Stratford is so gorgeous any time of the year, and there's so much to do and to see. Just come. I can't guarantee the weather, but I can guarantee that you're going to love your stay in Stratford. Enjoy. <laughs>